all gone. G'day, Tyson Palmer here. Uh, we've just returned uh, back home from a, an extended trip up north. We've been doing a lot of driving on uh, corrugated roads and um, yeah, really been giving this, this boat and trailer a good workout. So just doing a little bit of maintenance here at the moment and the transducers have, are a little bit loose on this on the back. So we're just gonna do a little video here. I thought I'd take the time to show you a bit of placement um, so that you get the most out of it so that when you're running, it, um, it reads at speed. So first thing you'll need is a nice straight edge. So here I've got a little um, piece of metal. So you run that in. I've got about a oh, maybe 800 mil poking up along the, along the bottom of the boat. And this is so that you get a proper straight edge so that when you know you're running, it keeps, like you, you want your clean water to come out. So this nice straight edge is like this. You can see that transducer around about there is possibly level. So that's level with the keel of your boat. How I like to run it is around about here somewhere. And the reason for that is when you have the water that's running underneath the bottom of your boat, it's getting nice clean water all the time. One thing that you do have to remember when, when you have got it facing a little bit forward, you'll get a nice clear picture, but when you pull up, your transducer is ever so slightly gonna be facing forward. So you just have to remember that part. Another little thing that you just wanna make sure when you're setting your transducer up, mainly for when you're fitting it for the first time because you don't wanna to have to drill holes all over your boat if you don't have to. So you make sure <clears throat> where you wanna put your transducer, there's nothing underneath on the keel of the boat. So you can see here, this line is where the transducer sits. On this boat, it's perfect. There's nothing that sits in, in through here. You need to be careful with that. If there's any sort of little lumps, any scratches or anything like that, that come through here, you're gonna get the bubbles that come off the bo bottom of your boat and they're gonna come down through here and you're not gonna get clean, clean water on your transducer. It's a very important that part. We'll tighten these ones up here. And then we'll check it again. Cause usually once you tighten, it wants to move. We'll check that one. And that looks pretty good to me. Hope you got something out of that one. Tyson Palmer from Lawrence. I'll see you on the next one. Thank you very much.